Rounding to the nearest ten. Telling which multiple of ten is the closest. Rounding to the nearest ten. Telling which multiple of ten is the closest. Rounding to the nearest ten. We're going to continue talking about rounding to the nearest ten. In the previous lesson, we learned how to round to the nearest ten with numbers between zero and one hundred. However, you can round numbers to the nearest ten no matter how large they are. First, let's review what we talked about in the previous lesson. This table will help us remember how to properly round to the nearest ten. These two red columns on the far right and left are multiples of 10. They're possible answers when rounding to the nearest 10. They all have a zero in the ones place. The left side of the chart, as indicated by the blue, are numbers that round to the smaller multiple of 10 because they're closer to that multiple of 10 than the other. They have a one, two, three, or four in the ones place. The right side of the chart includes numbers that are rounded up to the larger multiple of 10. These numbers end with a five, six, seven, eight, or nine. Sorry, they have a five, six, seven, eight, or nine in the ones place. The column that has fives in the ones place is actually the same distance from the smaller multiple of 10 and the larger multiple of 10. However, we round those up to the larger multiple of 10. These numbers, 5, 26, 33, 57, 71, and 94 will now be rounded to the nearest 10. As you can see, five rounds to 10, 26 rounded to the nearest 10 is 30, 33 rounded to the nearest 10 is 30, 57 rounded to the nearest 10 is 60, 71 rounds to 70, and 94 rounds to 90. Now, in these examples, we're talking about numbers between zero and 100. For our next examples, let's look at numbers between 200 and 300. We'll use 205, 226, 233, 257, 271, and 294. As you can see, the pattern holds true. 205 rounded to the nearest 10 is 210. 226 rounds to 230, and so on. The key in these larger numbers is knowing which multiples of 10 each number is between. We'll now change only the number in the hundreds place on each number in the table. So now we're looking at numbers between 600 and 700. Now that you see how these numbers round, you can start to see a pattern. The key for rounding to the nearest 10 is knowing which two multiples of 10 a number is between, and then looking in the ones place to see if it rounds down or rounds up. Let's try to do some rounding with larger numbers without using our chart. Let's look at 443. We need to determine what two multiples of 10 443 is between. We know that 43 is between 40 and 50, but we're talking about numbers between 400 and 500, so the hundreds place will stay the same. Next, we need to determine whether 43 is closer to 40 or 43 is closer to 50. We know that 43, or 443, is closer to 440 
than 450. So 443 rounded to the nearest 10 is 440. Our next example is 78. 78, is that closer to 70 or is it closer to 80? 78 rounds to 80 when rounded to the nearest 10. Let's choose a number now that has the same numbers in the ones place and the tens place and let's add 100 to it. 600s to be exact. So 678 rounded to the nearest 10. Well, we know that 78 rounded to 80. So 678 rounded to the nearest 10 is 680. The number 41 rounded to the nearest 10 is 40. Let's put that between two different multiples of 100. So 841 rounded to the nearest 10. Well, we remember that 41 rounds to 40. So 841 rounds to 840. How about 732? Does that round to 730 or 740? That rounds to 730. You can look in the ones place. It's smaller than five. So it rounds down. 312. That rounds to 310. This concludes our lesson on rounding to the nearest 10. Thank you very much. I hope you have a good day. Rounding to the nearest 10. Telling which multiple of 10 is the closest. Rounding to the nearest 10. Telling which multiple of 10 is the closest. Rounding to the nearest 10.